good morning you guys i feel like you're so lucky because you always get to see me without makeup on lucky you um but today i wanted to take you guys through the um progesterone and oil injection process like how i do that every day i do it in the morning around 8 30 ish between 8 and 9 usually and um yeah i was really nervous to start these injections when I first started them and I thought I'm gonna take you through like step by step how to prepare the injection and how to administer it so that maybe it will give you a little bit more confidence if you're doing this for the first time. Um, we actually stop these injections tomorrow so I thought today would be a good time to film this, bring you guys along with me because now that I've been doing this for I don't know how long, since August, so it's been about like two months. Um, I'm pretty confident in it. So yeah, I think this could help someone out there and I hope it does. So if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe and click the thumbs up button if you find this video helpful. So let's get into it. I usually keep my um, injection stuff packed away in like a Tupperware like this. Um, I have one on top of my fridge up there as well as my um, sharps containers there. Um, and I'm traveling tomorrow so that's why I moved them to the smaller little uh, Tupperware. Um, but it's just nice to have everything in one place. So your injections, your, you know, everything that you need, your alcohol swabs, um, and band-aids and stuff like that. So I have it all right here. So I'm gonna kind of prep it and walk you through everything you're gonna need. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need. Um, for the progesterone and oil, you'll need a 25 gauge, one and a half inch um, needle. So this comes with that needle already there on it. And then you'll need the drawing up needle, which just looks like this. And this says 18 gauge, one inch. Or yeah, I think it's one inch. You'll need your medication, obviously. So this is how mine comes. You can see it's an oil. So you just peel this little thing off. Okay, so we've got our medication, our drawing up needle, our administrating needle. Um, you're gonna want band-aids. And I like to choose the cute looking band-aids because it just makes it more fun. And, and you'll need sterile alcohol prep pads. And if you can hear Poe eating breakfast in the background, I'm sorry. He's really hungry, so he's gotta eat now. Okay, um, and then I think that is it. If you have all this stuff right here, then you're good to go. All right, now I'm just gonna walk you through how to draw up this needle. So first you wanna make sure your hands are washed. Mine are washed. And take your sterile alcohol prep pad and rub that right on there. Then change your needle out for the injection needle. Twist that on. Set this one aside. You can toss these. Okay, now we're ready to draw it up. All right, so I take one milliliter of progesterone each day, so I'm gonna draw it up to there. Just remove that and then draw in air to the one milliliter line. Gonna press it in to the medication, pop it up and blow the air back in there. Then I'm gonna draw it up, and this is kind of the tricky part, you don't want See how there's like an air bubble right there? You don't want that. So what I do is I just keep pushing it out until like 
there's a tiny little air bubble right there. So I'm gonna push it out again. And then I'm gonna draw it all the way up to the one milliliter line. Remove it. And change to the administrating needle. Okay, so there is an air bubble in there and that's just fine. What I'm gonna do is just kind of tap it to get it to go up a little bit. And then once it goes up, I'll squeeze a little bit till the air bubble gets released at the top. And you might see a little drop of oil come out and that's just fine. Just getting all the air bubbles out, ready to administer the shot. And we're good. All right, so now that the injection is ready, what I do is I stick it underneath my armpit <laughs> and I go ahead and like do something around the house, maybe like make a smoothie or change the laundry, do something um, for about five minutes while the injection warms up in my armpit. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So the reason why you would want to warm up the progesterone and oil before you administer the shot is it's an oil so just think of like an oil when it's heated it moves around like on a pan really easily um, when it's not heated it's kind of clumped together and we don't want that to happen in our body so in order to avoid the lumps um, the oil should be a little bit warmer so that does help I went ahead and made myself a smoothie because this morning um, even though I woke up with a little bit of morning sickness um, I try to get some greens in and this is the same smoothie that was in my pregnancy morning routine video except I put honey instead of stevia in and it's really good all right so I'm pretty sure that this guy is ready so let's go ahead and do this all right so I don't think you guys can see me but that's okay um, we're going to I alternate sides, and so this side is the one I'm on. So I pull down just a little bit, and you can see there's some bruising. It's totally normal. Kind of hard to avoid, but you know, you just try to avoid the spots that are already bruised. Anyway, so you just have to do it in a muscular spot. It's an intramuscular injection, so it doesn't matter if you do it like right in the butt. Like, I feel like the side area right here. Is, is better because when I've had like lumps closer to my butt right here, it's really hard to sit down. So the side area is best. So just pull down the pants just a little bit. And I just kind of feel around for like a good spot. That feels like a good spot, no lumps there. And I just dig my nail into the side like that so that I can see a little mark. That will help me know exactly where to put the That'll help me know where to put the injection. So I just clean the area, kind of let it dry for a minute. I'll just get the band-aid ready. Now, when you do the injection, you do want to make sure that you just go in straight and super fast. So, just get that ready. So I'm gonna go right there, pull the cap off. Make sure there's no little air bubbles. I see one little guy right there. Come on, come on little guy. Okay, all right, there's some oil, oh well. But you're just gonna literally, bam, as fast as you can. Faster the you do it, less it hurts. See, didn't even feel it. Okay, you wanna pull out just to see if there's any blood. I've never seen blood, so then just push it in slowly. It's in the oil, so it's gonna take some time. Pull out straight, put the cap on first. You might want to get some tissue, some clean paper towel or something. It doesn't really look like I need it. It's barely, it's not bleeding. And the oil is barely coming out, so I'm just patting it there. So you might want to have the paper towel whoops, ready. Then you're gonna take your band-aid, cute little band-aid, and stick that on and rub it out.
And then when you're done, of course, you want to dispose. So dispose of those syringes and needles. My pharmacist just told me to, because I was out of Sharps containers and they were out of them as well, he just told me to use this milk jug, an empty, clean milk jug. So that's what I've been using the past probably month. There's lots of needles in there. <laughs> it's crazy, but we're that, Guys, it's so easy, it really is. And if I can do this, you can do this. Um, seriously, I am terrified of needles. Um, I'm still scared of them. It's not easy but I know I can do it and I feel like so empowered that I'm doing this for myself and most impo importantly for my baby. Like I'm 10 weeks pregnant right now and just knowing that these medications are helping to support my pregnancy, I'll do it. Like it's not a big deal to me. Um, but it definitely doesn't make your pregnancy any easier. Um, so for those of you who are gonna have to go through this, like. I'm rooting for you, I'm cheering you on. You can do it, you can totally do it. All right, and I just wanna leave you with some advice. Um, the massaging really, really helps. See if your partner will mas massage the injection later in the day, the injection site, I guess, later in the day. Um, that will really help um, to avoid those lumps, which are so annoying and painful. Um, I like to do the injection before I either go for a run or do some yoga or shower because um, those things help to move the oil through. Um, a nice warm shower will help. And you can massage it. Um, I like to do that right before the shower at least. Um, if not, if I can, like do it right before a run, which was is super helpful. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna go for a run right after this. Um, yeah, I think that's it. You can use a heating pad if you want after. I found that um, the way I do it right now has been the most, uh, I guess it's just been the best way to do it, to avoid those lumps. I still do get lumps every once in a while. Um, probably once a week I get a nice good lump, um, but massage helps a lot. So, um, And I would definitely say that doing it in the side of your hips, rather kind of in your butt, um, are a little better as far as like, if you do get lumps, the side of your hips, the lumps don't hurt as bad, I guess, because you're not sitting on them, if that makes sense. <laughs> so. Anyway, that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you. Um, if it did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, follow me along um, as I am finishing up all my medications and moving on to like a normal pregnancy. And I'm really excited. I'm so excited to share every step of the way with you guys. And I hope that you will join and follow us here on YouTube as well as Instagram and I will link my Twitter below and I'll catch you over there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in our next video. Bye!